This is Robert Chaim Chatzer from Teaneck, New Jersey, from TABC and Shareo Ra. And I wanted to share with you a difficult uh, time that my wife and I experienced and a story that happened and how we helped with it. Our daughter, Chaiti Pora, who has Down syndrome, was born with a severe heart defect called an AV canal, and she required a very, very significant surgery, risky surgery, at age of six months. And thank God the surgery went very, very well. But as she was recuperating in the hospital from the surgery, she contacted, she contracted RSV, which is a very, very severe uh, virus, and is, can, is potentially deadly, Rahman Litzlan. And this was a very, very difficult moment. My wife and I had to uh, manage and cope with this. Our six-month-old daughter with Down syndrome just had a, such a severe uh, surgery and now has to, has to, somehow the six-month-old baby has to muster up the strength to fight off the, the RSV. And how, 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 do we get, how do we get through that? So we got through it with my wife's attitude. She said to me, look at all these doctors who are here to, to, to help uh, Chaitzipora. Look at all of, at these nurses. Look at all this machinery. Look at all this technology. Instead of my wife focusing on the negative and saying, oh, it's so sad, oh, woe, is, oh, woe, is, woe is us, instead she focused on the positive. And by focusing on the, the, the positive, looking at the Hakaras so all these people, all, all this technology that's here to, to, to help us, we have to, be so, we have to be so appreciative of, it, of that. And that got us through that, uh, that, that difficult time. And even now, looking back on it, or our Chaiti uh, Pora, a wonderful, wonderful uh, young lady, but those that have experience with children with Down syndrome will know that sometimes they could be stubborn. So my wife always reminds me, remember, Baruch Hashem, she, uh, she, she has a little bit of a stubborn streak because it was that strong personality that, that got her through as a six-month-old baby who was able to withstand uh, such, a, such an intense surgery. I was able to withstand RSV after the, after the surgery. So Baruch Hashem. And with this, we can understand a very interesting Gemara of Obakama on Saturday days and days. The Gemara wants to know, what's the Makar, what's the source for Akar Asato? Where do we know that we're supposed to be focusing on the good that people do for, for us? And the Gemara gives a very interesting answer. It tells us from Apostle and Paras Kitet say that Motitayet Mitzri, we're not supposed to despise an Egyptian. Why can Gary use of our soul? Because we were guests in their land. Now let's think about this for a moment. That's quite a puzzle. That's quite a demand that Hashem is making us upon us. We should not despise, we shouldn't hate the Egyptian, considering everything they did to us when we were in Mitzrayim, when they enslaved us for 116 years, they enslaved us. We were there for 210 years. So 116 of those, the Sifsa Chacham, the Parashas Vayera explains, were very, very difficult. They threw our babies in the Nile, they enslaved us, they tortured us. And we're supposed to not despise such people? How can that be? Well, the, the Torah tells us, Gary the Barak so. You were a guest in that land. For 94 of, those, of the 210 years you were a guest in that land, you prospered. When you left, you left with, 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 a, with a lot of wealth that we read about in, in Parsha's Go this week. And the focus in the Torah is telling us, when you have a mixed bag, when you have a mixed situation, like the story with, with Chai Tzipora, so my wife taught me uh, very, 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 very well. You could focus on the negative. You could, but no, don't do that. The first part, the Gemara, the Pasa, both the Heavenly Mitzri, it's telling you, focus on the positive. Don't just look at the negative. Look, look at, we, of course, we remember what happened in Mitzrayim at the Seder every day, but no, we also have to, we also can't be dwelling on that. We can't despise the Egyptians. We also have to have Hakaras Atov. And this is a life quality issue. It is a game changing life quality issue. If one chooses in a mixed situation to focus on the good instead of dwelling on the bad, that increases, enhances a person's quality of life dramatically. We'll just end off with one story that Gemara and Yavamos tells, a story of Rabbi Chia, whose wife was, uh, he, he frequently gave him a hard time. But the Gemara records that Rabbi Chia, every opportunity that he saw, saw something that his wife would, would like, he bought her a present. Buying her presents constantly. His father, Rav, saw this and said, I don't understand. She's always giving you a hard time. Why are you buying her presents? So Rabbi Chia says to his father, I choose to focus on the good. I chose to focus on the way she, the way she raises our children. And in many ways, she helps me. And, and, and that is going to be what I'm going to focus on. I'm going to focus. I choose to focus on the good. And therefore, I've, I've made myself a happy life with her because I just chose to focus on the good. And therefore, I give her presence out of gratitude, out of the cars that I feel for her. So let's follow the example that the Gemara sets in, in Babakama and Yuvamos. The Torah already is telling us to focus on the good, not just when it's obvious, but even when it's not obvious, when you have a mixed bag. Focus, focus, don't dwell on the bad, focus on the good.